Ever you wonder how doctor perform chest tube insertion let's break it down. First position the patient in a semi-recumbent position. For maximize exposure of the insertion site put patient's hand behind the head. By using marker pen mark the lateral border of the pectoralis major the mid-axillary line the horizontal line at the fifth intercostal space. Mark the incision point at the level of fourth intercostal space. Apply chlorhexidine scrub at the incision area. Drape the surgical field on the patient. And insert the syringe close to the incision point and infiltrate the dermis until the skin is slightly raised. Insert the syringe close to the upper and lower incision point, make sure muscular layer, parietal layer, and periosteum of the rib generously infiltrate, by using number 11 scalpel to make an incision about 2 cm proximal and parallel to 5th rib. Now use the Kelly clamp to blunt dissect down to the intercostal muscles while staying above the 5th rib. This will create a diagonal path. With hand gloves using your finger, blunt dissect and assess the path created down to the intercostal muscles. This will ensure the large caliber chest tube will pass through. Now again use the Kelly clamp to blunt dissect down into the parietal pleura. Use your gloves finger to ensure the lungs is not adhered to the chest wall. If a hemothorax is present often blood will be seen exiting the wound as well as pleural fluid that this will confirm entry into the pleural space. To insert tube into the chest use two clamp, hold at two side of tube approximately 20 centimeters apart from each other and after insertion of tube use your finger, direct the tube into the appropriate portion of the chest make sure all the drain holes are interested into the pleural cavity. To prevent from fall off sutures the incision made on either side of the chest drain tube using a mattress suture technique. Insert the tube into the chest drain collection chamber filled with water to the pre-marked level. Unclamp the proximal end of the chest tube. Use the gauze to dress the drain entry site and incision. Use the scissors to make a single cut to the center of the gauze piece. And overlay the gauze to fit around the chest tube entry site. To secure the gauze and the chest tube use pressure dressing. Record the fluid drain and ensure there is no more than 1.5 liter drain for every half an hour. This will prevent re-expansion pulmonary edema. Perform a x-ray to ensure correct placement of the chest tube examine it to identify them. Radio opaque stripe of the distal chest tube. The interruption in the stripe indicates the final drain holes. Ensure this is in the pleural space.